To gain meaningful insight into what it means to be a digital business, we looked at the Fortune 100 most admired companies and randomly selected 15 companies from the list and analyzed them against six criteria. Are they a digital business? Do they have an online presence? Do they generate significant revenue from online sales? Are they making real-time data-driven decisions? Is customer data secure? And is digital technology reducing the size of the company's human workforce? To complete our analysis, we researched and evaluated each of the company's privacy policies, their websites, as well as many news articles and blog entries. We used the analysis from our 15 company sample and extrapolated our findings to make some observations about the Fortune 100 most admired companies. We concluded that 46.6% generate significant revenue from online sales, 45% adequately secure consumer data, 93.3% are digital businesses, 80% have an online presence, 53.3% make real-time data-driven decisions, 78% of the companies are utilizing digital technology and software, which is actively reducing the need for human intervention. We feel the most interesting and relevant statistics are the ones that affect over 50% on the companies of the companies on the list. However, as we mentioned earlier, this was a very brief and loose analysis based on a small sample that was carried out to get some basic insights to why these companies are admired and the key aspects of digital businesses that give them a competitive edge. As you can see, the key aspects driving the success of these businesses are online presence, utilization of digital technology and software, and the ability to make real-time data-driven decisions. Being a digital business also appears to be of paramount importance to the success of an enterprise in our modern technology-driven society. What makes digital business different from e-business is the presence and integration of things connected and intelligent with people and business. Digital businesses use large values of, of increasing real-time data, combined with online and shared data and digital services, to make faster and better decisions about their products, services, and business operations. One of the most tech-savvy digital businesses in the Fortune 100 is SAPSAVE. For more than 40 years, SAP has helped companies of all sizes and in all industries run better. Through our one simple approach, we simplify technology and master complexity so customers can consume our software the way they want and ultimately run their businesses more simply. Run Simple is more than our tagline, it is a promise. We realize the promise of Run Simple through our strategy to be the cloud company powered by SAP HANA. SAPSA's revenue for last year was 17.56 billion euros. As we can see, many aspects of SAPSA's business model make it a digital business. The black text is the traditional elements of SAP's business model canvas, and the blue text is the specific ways in which SAP operates as a digital business. SAP's key value proposition are, is mainly digital based. SAP offers various customizable software programs which customers can purchase and use to improve the efficiency of their business operations, gain meaningful insights from large amounts of big data, and in general, reduce complexity associated with operating their businesses. If we move on to key activities, we can see that SAP collects and uses software usage data, as well as, as, well as troubleshooting data, in order to improve their products and maintain a competitive edge. For key partners, SAP client data is anonymized and after examining their, pri their privacy policy, we can see that they do in fact share some data with third parties, subsidiary companies of SAP and partner companies. Customer relationships. SAP collects and analyzes NPS, which is Net Promoter Score, data in order to evaluate customer loyalty and better identify the ways in which they can develop brand loyalty. Also, in order to, be to better streamline the services which they offer their customers, SAP has started using an external data center designed to be able to cope with the immense volume and veracity of customer data, which is allowing SAP to analyze more data and offer more meaningful insights faster than beforehand. SAP has multiple channels, primarily digital, through which they provide their value propositions and carry out their key activities. Not only does SAP provide key services and products through these channels, but SAP also uses them to offer basic encryption and collect consumer data. By analyzing information regarding the popularity and volume of service flowing through their revenue streams, SAP has a potential increase has a potential to increase their scope of influence in an attempt to attract new customers from sectors and industries previously not heavily associated with cloud technology and digital technology. What differentiates us from our competitors? To examine what makes SAP unique, we investigated how they differentiate themselves from their main competitor, Oracle. One of SAP's unique selling points is their speed of implementation. While the average Oracle customer takes 20.5 months to implement, 
the average SAP customer is able to do so in four months less time. SAP software platform allows them to work much faster to customize their interface, analytics functionalities, and insights to suit the needs of their customers. SAP and Oracle are similar in that they both use in-memory databases, cloud storage. Both are considered to be appliances and both serve analytical workloads, essentially reduce complexity and analyze in order to offer insight. SAP distinguishes itself from Oracle in a few other key ways. SAP is fully resilient against hardware failure, uses save points and logs to save information to disk. In the past, this was identified as a key concern of many cloud users. What happens if the network crashes? SAP has taken measures to combat this issue. SAP HANA is fully in memory on the cloud, whereas Oracle is only partially. SAP can support transact transactional and multidimensional workloads. With SAP, you don't need to duplicate data or have a separate system for reporting. SAP software doesn't require caches, aggregation, indexes, or physical queues, although some of these performance features are supported if you really want them. An opportunity for SAP is increasing interest in cloud technology and SAP's analytical services from the healthcare sector in relation to personalized home care. Challenges include SAP has to compete with companies offering potentially cheaper in-memory databases and analytic services also using cloud technology. General increase in competition as more startups are appearing offering services related to SAP and their work. Risk of third parties obtaining, slightly adapting and selling on SAP proprietary information and technology, which is essentially intellectual property theft. Public and customer confidence in SAP and the cloud is proving tricky amid ongoing concerns of cybersecurity breaches. We then consider some of the most likely upcoming disruptions that have the potential to impact SAP say in the next 1, 3, 5 and 10 years. In the following year, Amazon is rumored to further reduce the price of their cloud storage and Amazon Web Services, as well as bringing out their own cheaper in-memory database to compete with the services that SAP and Oracle currently offer. The impact of this would be SAP having to reduce the price of their products and services in order to remain competitive, thus reducing the revenue generated from their existing value proposition. In the next three years, unnamed aerial vehicle usage to collect data is predicted to increase significantly. While this may not appear to have an immediate effect on SAP, the amount of data being collected by existing and prospective SAP customers will increase resultant of autonomous drone data collection. The veracity and volume of data that SAP will have to cope with will increase and SAP will have to further develop their software platforms and computational capabilities. This may require investing in more data centers. A current key area of interest relating to digital technology and big data is the healthcare sector. NCT is currently using SAPSA to archive and analyze petabytes of data relating to personal experiences, treatments, and reactions of individual cancer patients. NCT understands that not everyone responds the same to traditional treatment for cancer. With many other healthcare companies joining the personal and home care trend, SAP has a lot more prospective clients. Using QUID, we were able to examine the patents relating to cloud computing which have been applied within the last year. As you can see from this cluster diagram, businesses have been applying for patents relating to cloud computing and other digital technology within an outstandingly large array of industries. The largest cluster contains only 5.2% of patents and 12% of patients do not belong to any specific cluster. What does this mean for SAP? If cloud computing is becoming relevant to more and more industries and sectors, then SAP has the potential to engage with many new partners and customers. Although it is strongly predicted that cloud technology has a strong future, there are those, however, who predict that interest in cloud technology will falter due to some unforeseen disruption or general consumer disengagement. The latter scenario could be more problematic for SAP say. We have therefore considered two different scenarios. Scenario A is based on the assumption that interest in the cloud technology will continue to increase, and Scenario B, however, considers that interest and confidence in cloud technology will diminish. So Scenario A, SAP should consider launching a new marketing campaign in order to appeal to a wider variety of industries and capitalize on the wealth of new potential clients from a variety of sectors and industries, as mentioned earlier. As the race to zero continues with in-memory databases and analytics software becoming imminently cheaper, SAP should seriously consider lowering their prices to compete with Amazon and larger companies. In our modern age, digital businesses are becoming more and more concerned with having the latest up-to-date software and digital technology. In response to this, SAP should continue to monitor customer usage data and feedback in order to further develop SAP HANA, SAP Simple Finance and SAP Fiori, their interface, in order to better suit the needs of their customers and maintain an air of innovation and creativity. 
SAP could also consider enhancing a customer support experience. That is to say, take better advantage of modern technology to offer a more personalized support interaction. This could be achieved through video chat troubleshooting. This will make their services feel more personal and is likely to increase customer loyalty. In the case of Scenario B, seeing as SAP has already invested so heavily in cloud technology in the form of their SAP HANA database, it would seem logical for SAP to try and boost public and consumer interest and excitement in cloud technology, thus reversing the downward trend. SAP can encourage growth and interest by taking several measures. SAP could potentially do this by enhancing the safety measures they take relating to cloud storage and the security of customer data. This could potentially increase customer and public confidence in SAP and in their products and services. Another measure SAP could take is to form a marketing campaign targeted at highlighting and promoting the ease of use of their in-memory storage database, SAP HANA, as well as clarifying just how SAP operations optimization software can cut costs and offer meaningful insights into complex, enormous datasets.